Part of what I wanted to do with the Feeling Dangerous podcast was not just talk sports, but also talk some pop culture and really just kind of talk a little bit about some of my projects and things like that. And this is both for my benefit and for maybe the interest of some niche of you out there who follow the stuff that I make and are interested in it. So basically, um, for those of you who don't know, other than from the Dallas Prospect, my name is Derek Kirby. That is my actual name. And while I started on the Dallas Prospect, prior to that, I actually was a contributor and Mavs beat writer for a site called ProjectShanks.com. That site is now defunct. Uh, the last six months of its maybe five-year run, I ran it just to kind of get a feel for basically being a, a content director and things of that nature ahead of starting uh, Dallas Prospect myself. Prior to Project Shanks, I was a contributor covering the Cowboys for a site or rather a company called Football and Football, F-U-T-B-O-L and Football, American Football. The company itself was actually called Sports Report USA. Football and Football was the website that my articles appeared on. Also defunct. And uh, that that one was my first taste of that. But prior to all of that, flashback to when I was 20 years old, so nine years ago, I actually had, I actually picked up a great interest in writing. I'd always had a creative streak as a kid but I had never really seen anything through. And when I was 20, I finally just had one idea that kind of grabbed on and didn't let go. And over the course of the last nine years, I've kind of come and gone as far as how much I've written and worked on that story. I've written drafts for the first five books in a probably six or seven book series. And I've written and rewritten book one, I'm going to say no fewer than half a dozen times. And the thing is, Around book four, I realized I really wanted this to work. I wanted this to be something that I got published and not just for me and a couple friends to read. And so I really took a vested interest in it and started fine tuning it and working it and trying to iron out all the wrinkles I could. But, you know, as is the case with life, sometimes these things kind of fall onto the back burner and it, it just kind of comes and goes as far as how you're able to work on it. So I've, I've definitely had a couple years there. The first, uh, the past two years in large part have been an off period for me as far as writing this. And it's not that I ever lost interest in the story or didn't want to write it. It was just I kind of set it aside because I was running Project Shanks and that was a full-time thing for the final six months I was doing that site. And then I started the Dallas Prospect and it takes a tremendous amount of effort to build that up and build a brand from nothing and I still have a long, long way to go in that regard, but at the very least, I, I am proud of what I've been able to do with it. So now I'm trying to juggle writing this again. So I'm working on uh, my Affliction series for that. And in the middle of that, I'm running the Dallas Prospect, which is Mavs and Cowboys content. Uh, the pop culture content that used to be found on Dallas Prospect is now being split off to another sub-brand called Cheap Pop. So I'm doing... Uh, pop culture content there. That's my gaming and film review stuff. Uh, I started this Feeling Dangerous podcast, which is kind of my catch-all open forum for me to talk about and, you know, whatever, whatever I want. And so there's a lot of stuff that I'm juggling up in the air, but even beyond, even beyond all of this, there's so much more I want to do. Like even within the Dallas Prospect for, again, trying to appeal back to those of you who that's what you're interested in me talking about. Uh, I'm, I'm developing the TPN segments and I know that I haven't released another one of those in a little while. And some of you might think I just already abandoned it. I assure you I have not. I have been working on all new shows for the TPN segments, uh, characters, recurring characters, mind you, promotional ads, commercials, you name it. I'm developing this as if it's a whole real world thing. And I promise you when this shit drops, you are going to you're going to love it. If you li if you even liked the TPN stuff I did before, you're going to love what I roll out for this because I am giving it the full treatment. Additionally, there are the retrospectives. Uh, I still have that agreement with Dallas Sports Fanatic to produce that. 
I'm still trying to work out some of what that entails a little bit, um, but I'm very optimistic on that front. Uh, and part of that, because it's a bigger undertaking and because this is me, one man producing this shit right now, I'm learning this as I go. And so it's not enough. I've, I've filmed probably an hour's worth of content already, but I'm not content unless I feel like it's being filmed well or the sound design is right. It's just a lot of working through that. So I have filmed and refilmed uh, the first two scenes, I don't know how many times. I'm going to get it figured out, but I'm also trying to do this in a way where I don't look like a complete amateur hack in doing so. I want this to be a quality shot picture, even if I'm the only one doing it, because I hold myself and kind of this more creative side to a very high standard. So, uh, with that said, I have those coming out still for the Dallas Prospect, being that we're now in the, I know we got the draft, the NFL draft in like 10 days, uh, that's going to take some talking points for me there for a little while, but after that, I'm going to be just in off-season mode, which is usually where I turn my attention to the pop culture stuff and to these more ambitious projects, because it's not just the every week crank out a Cowboys and a Mavericks live stream and uh, the podcast. There's a little bit more time for me to be creative and explore some other things. So that's all still sitting there as well. Um, one thing that's kind of come about from my interest in learning as much as I can about the filming process for the retrospectives and TPN segments and all of that, I have taken a, a real interest in developing uh, kind of my own short films. And I'm not trying to say like, oh, I want it in a competition or anything like that. I'm not even remotely thinking in those terms. But I've become very fascinated with the whole process of editing, of shooting and editing the film and just all the things you can do. Some of the software I already have, others I don't have yet. I'm going to have to get those. Honestly, I need a little bit more powerful of a computer to do some of this stuff. But that's everything that I'm working toward. And it's, it's just kind of that creative spark and that energy. Like it's excitement, it's anticipation. And man, when that thing's going, when, when you have your creativity, your uh, muse, as some people like to call it, when that's there and it's present and it's engaged, it feels like you can conquer the fucking world. It really does. When it's not there, every fucking step is a grind and a beating and you just don't know when it's going to be over and dealt with. But when it's all there and it's all working, I mean, it's it's unreal. It's an unmatched feeling, I, I think. Uh, I've had that fe uh, feeling during writing days. I've had writing competitions I've entered in the past where the final day before entering uh, to finish my story and get it submitted on time, I had an 18-hour writing marathon where I left the chair twice in that entire day. In that entire 18 hours. I was up from like 7 in the morning until 3 in the morning. And late, late afternoon, I finally had to take a break of some kind just to eat. And even then, I was out of the chair for 5 minutes and back in the chair. So, it's just... I got through that because the muse was there. The muse was fully present. And it was like... It was almost like kind of grabbing me by the collar. Like, nope, nope, here you go. We're going to finish this shit. We're not done here. Eat your chips later, you know? So it, it's awesome. And I, I feel that, again, I have that feeling kind of bubbling up a little bit now, even just thinking about eventually doing some of these uh, some of these short films down the road. And for that, in the meantime, what's good about this is the TPN segments and, to a greater degree, the retrospectives, which are a little bit more bold and ambitious of projects, I would say, I think I can do more with those to kind of bridge that gap a little bit between it. So I can test out and experiment and really develop those to a better quality for what I want and then circle back. And after I've really fine-tuned the skills there, then I can, you know, see about doing maybe something down the road with that. But that's that's what I'm really excited for. I really want to see what I can do because I love to write. I love to create stories and in addition to trying to inform i like to entertain as well so i've got a ton of ideas i mean you can ask um 
you know, the guys at the sports theory, I've shown them a bunch of notes and concepts and kind of scripts for things that I have in the wood, uh, in the works. I almost said the woodworks, but just in the works. And, uh, they're, they're hyped about a lot of them on obviously the ones they've seen. I've invited them or asked them if they wanted to be a part of it. So there's going to be plenty of collaborations there. Uh, I've talked with any from maps fast break. I've talked with a couple of writers and content creators from the site in general, the Dallas prospect.com. I'm trying to build this up because I want to do this as big and as badass as I can. And I understand with where we are now, that's, you know, that's, uh, that's going to take maybe a little time to get there. But anything I roll out, it's going to be the best thing I can roll out to you at that moment. If you liked the TPN stuff before, ooh, you are in for a show. I promise you, I haven't even come at you with the hard stuff yet. I haven't even come to the table with my best shit. That was just experimenting and trying to get something conceptually down so that I could then step back and fine tune it. Now that I'm starting to actually figure out the ins and outs of how I want to put it together, how I want to film it, what settings and scenes and shit I want to use, now it's actually going to take off a little bit. And that's that's what I'm excited for. But again, I want to do it right. I want to make sure that the next time I roll out another TPN segment, that it is, I feel appropriate or up to the standard you would expect for the short hiatus so that's that's what i'm working on man it's so it's so much to consider like i said i'm trying to write my novel i'm trying to get that published i'm uh working on a second draft of the latest reversion reversion uh revisions now um the latest rewrite and i'm submitting that off to publishers for review Uh, I'm doing Dallas prospect content every day where it's either the podcast, it's researching and editing stuff I can do for TPN and the retrospectives. It's recording the podcast, uh, itself. If I already mentioned the podcast then make the fourth one, just the shows themselves, the, the Mavs fast break and what I'm about to be rolling back out now with the Cowboys talk, particularly for the draft. Um, it's writing my articles for Dallas sports fanatic. It's, um, you know, the other things I talked about, the, the film stuff, it's the video game development stuff I've also in the past expressed interest in. Um, it's just a full plate, man. It's a full plate, but I don't worry too much about the plate being overstuffed because to me it feels like everything creatively kind of leads into one another. Um, I think if you stay at the same well too long, it kind of goes stagnant and you kind of dries up on you. And so to continue breathing new life into that, I try to balance different creative projects, sometimes on different fronts. So everything I was talking about there was just the sports side. I even really get into the pop culture stuff, the film and gaming and stuff like that, that I'm trying to do. I'm currently working on a, a film review for John Carpenter's The Thing. Uh, that's one of my projects as well. Um, but working on these different things, it gives you a chance to kind of one recharge because your mind is fresh and on something new. And two, you can take things you learn from that, whether it's the production process or, uh, just the content itself, how you put it together, you take lessons from there and creative, 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 creativity and creative ideas from that. And then you can re reapply that over here on something that otherwise might have been unrelated. And it makes it just this whole cyclical process where you can really put some cool stuff together. And I mean, I, I, I'm one of those people who, yeah, it'd be if I put all of my energy into one thing and I obsessed over just that one thing, yeah, I might be able to do something great. But that's just never been how I, I like to operate. I'm someone who bounces from project to project and I try to usually finish one project before jumping to the other, unless I know that other project just has to go on the back burner for a while. But it, it keeps, it keeps me motivated because I feel like my work is never done. I have a problem where I'll finish a project and if it's a big project, I finish that project 
And then I kind of like sit there and for sometimes as much as a month, I'm just kind of like looking around like, what do I work on now? Like there's other stuff out there, but it's just like a weird hangover process I feel from finishing these projects sometimes. So instead, I keep the focus here centralized on these various projects and because I do them in generally uh, small sprints as opposed to these long marathons, it keeps everything feeling fresh and that's part of why I throw a barrage of different things at you so that I can always have content rolling out. I know for a while there I was only doing the one weekly Mavs fast break. That's, in my opinion, for me, that's inexcusable. That's not near enough content. I am much, much better than that, and I am going to do more than that moving forward, which was a big part of the introduction of this podcast as well, uh, an opportunity for me to talk about those things and to explore uh, other creative niches, so to speak, that I have. But that's uh, so that's the quick update report, I guess, on... Kirby Creative, uh, my background kind of umbrella, I would figuratively put everything under. Uh, that's where I lump in all these different things, even the things that extend beyond prospect. Prospect is kind of the central pillar of this structure. You know, in the umbrella metaphor, it's the actual, uh, what would you call it? Oh, the stick of the umbrella, let's just say. And uh, all this other stuff is just stuff, you know, supported by that. So that, uh, that, fuels or kind of covers the gist of that though just to give you an idea on it i am working on new tpn segments uh as i mentioned there are going to be shorts for that there are going to be promos there are going to be commercials there are going to be a lot of things that roll out for that and it's not just me tpn is not just me you're going to have it's not even just any you're going to have new uh, new people new characters introduced and it's bigger than just DDP uh, or Dare Kirby or any Nduka. It's a, it's an all hands kind of thing. 